Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to go over ways of analyzing data. So first of all, some notation. So we're going to look at the two types of data that we've seen before, and that is categorical data and numerical data. So for categorical data, we're often asking uh, someone a question that involves a yes or no, right? And so uh, again, I use the example, do you smoke? Yes or no. So our categories would be smokers or not. Another example, uh, did you get the COVID vaccine? Yes or no. So our situations or our categories are got the vaccine or didn't get the vaccine. So again, categories, uh, in this case, we could ask is something it or not it, <laughs> essentially. So uh, in this case, we look for a quantity of interest would be the percentage of the population or the sample that is that yes, or maybe it's a no, depending on what we're looking at. So we often look then for a proportion, proportion of yeses. We often write a proportion using a percentage. This proportion of the population that is say a yes is often called the population parameter. Uh, the notation we use is often little p. So for example, that could be 82% as an example. And let me just use a different color here so we can kind of keep track of our uh, side notes here. So proportion is a percentage. Often uh, the for, for population, we refer to the population proportion as little p. So example, 82%. If we're looking at the proportion of a sample, we call that the sample statistic. And we represent it with a little, with a p and a little hat. So it could be also 82%, say. And we call it p hat. So the next type of data we have is we're referring to numerical data. So that recall that's like numbers, measurements. With numerical data, we collect means or averages. We represent the average uh, population information with this little Greek letter mu. So we say it's pronounced mu, kind of like moo and meow, mu. For a sample average, we represent it often, the notation, with an X and a line over it. That's often called, or that is called X bar. All right, so to summarize, for our two types of data, categorical and numerical, Categorical data, we look for a uh, proportion. Proportion of a population is called notation P. Proportion of a sample is P hat. When we have numerical data, we look for means, and we'll look for other things later on, but uh, for the relevant parameter currently, we're looking at means or averages. The average population information is called mu. The average sample information is X bar. And again, whenever we're looking at a population, or information about the population, we call it a parameter. When we have a summary value of a sample, we call it a statistic. So parameter is referring to a population info, statistic is referring to the sample info. So now let's look at some examples where we're using these terms. In this example, it says, researchers are interested in the percentage of people in a city that support a new recycling law. Draw and label a picture to represent the population the sample, the parameter, and the statistic. All right, so let's get started here. So we can represent our population with say a big rectangle. I'm gonna use black here. So here's our entire population. So what population are we interested in? Well, we are interested in the percentage of people in a city that support the new law. So the population would be all people in the city. A sample of this population would just be a subset of the people. So this would be some people in the city.
And now let's further uh, look at, so we kind of covered population and sample. So let's further dive into what parameter we'd want to collect and what statistic. So we want to first ask ourselves what types of data or what type of data is being collected? Well, we want to know, or rather what we're curious in is the percentage of people in the city that support the new law. So just think for a minute how we might collect this data to determine that percentage. Well, you'd go around asking people, do you support the law? Yes or no? So your question would be, do you support the recycling law? And you'd want people to respond yes or no. Let's just assume they say yes or no. So the data, what kind of data are we collecting? Categorical or numerical? Well, we're collecting categorical. And we see that if we have a categorical variable, then the quantity of interest we want is the proportion. In this case, we wanna know proportion of yes. Because we wanna know what percentage of people in the city support it. So if we've asked everyone in the city, if they support it, yes or no, then we can find the population parameter or the percentage of the entire population that support it. So again, if we collect data on all the people in the city, then we can find P, which would be the percentage of all people in the city who support the law. If we just collected data on a subset, say on the sample, we could collect the percentage of the people in the sample that support the law, and that would be a p hat. That would be a sample statistic. So p hat would be the percentage of some people in city that support the law. So again, this, this quantity of interest, the proportion, if we collected the proportion of people in the entire city that support, that would be a population parameter. Often people drop the word population and just use parameter uh, because it's essentially kind of in the word parameter is wrapped up, what we mean is information about the entire population. So I'll even write that in our notes. So this value here, this percentage of all people in the city that support the law, we could just call that our parameter. Here, the percentage of, of some people in the city that support the law, well, that would be our statistic. Awesome. So we're now going to look at the next example, but please take a moment to pause the video and look over any of these ideas and topics, uh, concepts that we just discussed. All right, and now when you're ready, let's look at the next example. So this next example says researchers are interested on the average days of, of shelf life for an apple at Trader Joe's in Olympia. Draw and label a picture to represent the population, the sample, the parameter, and the statistic. So we first wanna know, well, what are the researchers interested in? Well, they're interested in the average days of shelf life for an apple at Trader Joe's. So they're interested in an average. So we see that an average, if, we're, if that is our quantity of interest, that's referring to a numerical value. And if we find the average for the entire population, we call it mu. For the, if we find the average of a subset or a sample, we call it a statistic or X bar. So first, let's draw and label a picture to represent the population and the sample. So I'll draw a big rectangle to determine or to represent our population. So here's our population. And so let's think for a moment, what would be our population in this situation when we're interested in information about apples at Trader Joe's in Olympia? Well, the population would be all apples at Trader Joe's in Olympia, all apples. 
in Trader Joe's in Oli. And then a sample would be just some of these apples. And I drew this sample as just like a cloud in here. That's not to mean that I'm going to put all the apples in a box and just pick one cluster like this. We're going to look in some uh, future videos about ways in which we collect samples, but this is just sort of a cartoon uh, image uh, to get a sense of what a sample looks like uh, within a population. So we'll call this our sample. So what would a sample be in this situation? Well, just some of the apples at Trader Joe's in Oli. So we've represented our population, our sample. So now what would be the parameter in this situation? Well, if we collected data on the entire population, we'd be able to find the average shelf life of all apples. We call this mu our parameter. So mu is gonna be the average shelf life of all apples at dj in O. If we just found the average of a sample, that would be called X bar. And uh, in this situation, X bar would be the average shelf life of some of the apples. So mu would be our parameter in this situation. And X bar would be our statistic. Awesome. All right, great work. Please rewatch any parts of this video to better familiar, familiarize yourself uh, with analyzing data and the concepts of population parameter and sample statistic.